Hello guys, on this beautiful weather, I am under the grapes, outside, you can hear a few sounds here and there, but you know, I wanted to record the intro and conclusion video up out here. So today it is all about Google Chrome Web Browser, yes, and I'm granting a wish of one of you viewers which said if I can create uh, a tutorial how to enable the incognito mode, if it is disabled. But I will not be doing only that today. I will show you how to permanently disable it, permanently enable it, or just enable it. So you can turn it on this incognito mode whenever you want. Yay! <laughs> um, remember, uh, I will show you three different ways how to do it and all ways are based on the same uh, key inside the registry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't go away, don't go away. Remember, first way it is the easiest way. Just download, extract the zip file and just launch registry file that you want setting to be. Don't worry. Step by step will be provided a little bit later. In second method, I will show you how to create your own registry file just to import the registry information. And the third way is going directly to the registry and edit or create the key right there. But there is one thing uh, for the third version if you do not have any experience at all i do not suggest that you do that i suggest that you learn a bit about uh, windows registry and uh, be very careful uh, unless you are going step by step exactly as me because windows registry it is a little bit uh, hicky <laughs> not so gr uh, yeah, it is not, it can be problematic if you do some wrong stuff in it. <laughs> okay. So, without further ado, let's just start this video, shall we? So, very first thing is those texts that I have here prepared, all these elements you can find in the description below this video. But now let's go first over the incognito mode briefly. I will just open up Google Chrome Web Browser, open it from the desktop, from the taskbar, start menu, does not matter when, where, <laughs> where, not when. <laughs> Then click those three dots, customize and control Google Chrome, and click new incognito window. This is only shown if your incognito mode is enabled, or always enabled, not disabled. If it is always enabled, your web browser will always open in this black incognito mode window. Google Chrome will not save your browsing history, cookies, site informations. But remember, incognito mode does not mean that you are safe. If you want additional layer of safety, I will suggest that you use the VPN, with, which is Virtual Personal Network. There is plenty of stuff available on the YouTube, on the internet about this in, uh, VPN. If you want, just research it. I did not make uh, any video yet on the, that topic. But one thing, do not use free VPN service. Whatever you do, do not use it. Please, it is not worth it. Okay, so if you want additional information about the incognito mode, you can just click learn more and this window pops up. I mean, this website. This website is also available in the description below this video. Okay, so let's close this window. So, let's go to first way how to disable, enable or permanently enable. It is practically very easy. First, 
I will just uh, select this first link, which is short link for this long Google Drive link. It is safe. If you do not trust me with those links, then just go to the second way, which is how to create your own registry files. Click on the beginning of the link while pressing and then on the end releasing left mouse button. Just right mouse button click on the selected text, click copy, go to your web browser, right mouse button click and click paste. Now just press enter key on the keyboard and this window, this website pops up. This is in Slovenian language, but don't worry people, don't worry, just search for this blue button in the middle of this website. This says Prenesi. In translation in English is download. Just click on it, wait a little bit, and here it is, it is downloaded. Now I will just right mouse button click on this file inside Google Chrome and click show in folder. So this is the archive file. That means that this file contains one or more files inside itself. So that is why I need to extract it. You can extract it by right mouse button click on it and use extract all function, which is integrated in the Windows 10 operating system. Or in my case, I have 7-zip here. Go over and I will just click extract here. I already installed 7-zip program, which supports way more archive files and it is completely free and safe to use. So now we have the, here the content of this archive file, which I have three registry files. Let's say I want to disable Google Chrome incognito mode completely. So uh, incognito mode, disable permanent, just open it, click yes, and click OK. And that's it. When you do any change or whatsoever, you need to close all the windows of uh, Google Chrome that you have opened, then just open it back. And now if I go under these three dots, click on it, I do not see uh, incognito mode selection because I disabled it. It is also called as permanently disabled. Now let's say I want permanently enable it. Just open, click yes, just like before. That is just confirmation that you really want to add the content of this registry file into your Windows registry. Click yes and click OK. Now when I close, and open it again, you see I am inside the black incognito mode. But if I click on the enable, yes, okay, then close this, reopen it, and under three dots I have new incognito window. So basically under enable, you have possibility to manually open incognito when you want. Let's go to the second way. For the second way, you need to have the extensions of the files shown. Let's say you do not have them shown, just the name of the file. It is very easy. Inside the file explorer, this PC doesn't matter. Just click on the view tab and check file name extensions. So this checkbox is checked and you see the extensions for the files. If you want to see what is inside these files, you can just right mouse button click and click edit. But in my case, I will use Notepad++, so I will click edit with Notepad++. So inside here, we have these few lines. And if I look at the text that I have, basically, this line it is here and this line which says where exactly this key is that we need and the element that you want to use here is number two value of incognito availability is number two 
that means that it is enabled always. It is simple as that. Now let's just create a registry file. It is pretty easy. Registry file is basically a text file with extension reg. So if I click somewhere on desktop or wherever you want to store your registry file, uh, I will go under the new and I will click notepad plus plus document. In your case, it will probably say text document because my notepad plus plus is default editing text software. It says notepad plus plus. So when you click your text document, here is the name automatically selected and I can just type in, let's say, incognito disabled. And remember, this dot needs to be present at all times. This dot separates the name of the file and the extension. If you remove the dot, call thing will be only the name. Even if you type in uh, reg or txt or whatsoever. So this dot needs to be in a, uh, here all the time. So when I click on the end of txt, remove txt and just type reg, press enter key on the keyboard. It asks me if I really want to uh, change the type of this file. I will just click yes. Now I will just right mouse button, click on it and click edit with notepad plus plus or just edit. Doesn't matter which one. And now because I want to disable it, I will just click and copy all these lines of text. And when I am I selected, right mouse button click and click copy. Now I will just go inside that your favorite text editor, right mouse button click and click paste. And here it is. Now I will just save it. Let's bring down a little bit. Let's uh, open this registry file. I want to add yes. Okay, same as before. And when I open Google Chrome, I do not have incognito mode here. If you want, let's say for another file, you can just, let's say, copy this file and just change the value. Uh, right mouse button, click on the file, copy and somewhere empty, right mouse button, click paste. And let's rename it. Right mouse button, click rename. And maybe this one is for enable. Press enter key on the keyboard. And now same as before, right mouse button, click and click edit or edit with notepad plus plus. So for enable, we have only minus here. Only this last part after the equal changes. So I click on the end of this line and I will just select enable also. Right mouse button click copy. And if I select here, right mouse button click paste. Click save to save the file and that's it. Now, if I go under enable, open it, yes. And OK. Open Google Chrome again. New incognito window possibility is on. That's great. So the same goes with the enable always. You can just select the this last part, copy, uh, go here, and instead of that minus, paste it but then rename the file so that you do not mess up all the things or just create another file like I did before. One more thing that I just want to tell you is that here, whatever it is after semicolon in some line, that is comment. So whatever you type here, the Windows registry and Windows, it is ignoring that text. That is why it is green in my case. Let's go to the last way, which is editing Windows registry directly. Do this way only if you have some experience or you do exactly what I do. 
because if you do anything differently, slightly differently, or you edit some other elements of the registry, you may break some applications, uh, windows or whatsoever. So be very careful. So to open up Windows registry, just click the start menu or the magnifying glass, doesn't matter, and just type in, start typing reg, reg, and here it is, registry editor. Click on it. And now here, as you see, we have the path to this value that we need to edit, which is HK local machine, which is here. Just double click on it. That are just subfolders and subfolders and subfolders and sub elements, etc. <laughs> Next is software. Next is policies. Next is Google. And we have also Chrome. And inside here, I do not have incognito uh, mode ability key inside. As you see, there is not. Why? Uh, if you remember, I enabled the incognito mode. And when I enable incognito mode, that minus over here as the value, it just deletes this element. So if there is not an element inside here, you just need to create it. First, I will just select the, the name of this element, just a second, between the quotes, without the quotes, between the quotes, right mouse button click copy. I will go here under the Chrome folder, right mouse button click, go to new and click the word 32-bit value. As you see, also it I wrote it here. Now, under the selected text, just right mouse button click, click paste. And press enter key to confirm it. As default, its value it is zero. But let's say I want to enable it always and I need to have the value of two. Now you can just right mouse button click and click modify on it or just double click on it and this window will pop up under the value data here instead of zero I will just type two click OK and here it is and now if I open up Google Chrome you see I am inside incognito and that is it. Now I can just, because I want to enable only, not permanently enable or permanently disable, I will just apply the enable mode and that's it. The value will be, uh, is deleted now and now I, if I open up Google Chrome under the three dots, I have the possibility to run it. So yeah, that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. Yep, I'm better. <laughs> so if you have any questions, did not understood something whatsoever, just type everything below this video in the comment section. Of course, if you want to get notified about my new videos, first you need to press a red button subscribe and then click the uh, bell icon, a <laughs> bell icon to get notified about new videos. Of course, if you like the video, give big thumbs up. If you did not, eh, which some people do, thumbs down and share with others so others can learn too. So, until the next time, enjoy, people, have a blast and see ya. Peace!